Hey everybody, this is Dylan, or you, as you may know me on YouTube, uh, Num Dill. Um, so today what I kind of wanted to do is kind of walk you guys through uh, my streaming setup or a more up-to-date version of it than my previous video that I had posted on my YouTube channel. Um, I know I've been kind of saying I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post this video for a long time now, and uh, I finally got the urge to do it now, so I'm, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, there's plenty to go over here, um, so this might be a little lengthier of a video. Um, just as a precursor, I will be including everything that I discuss in this video in the description of this video. Um, so I will also do my best to provide links for you guys as well if you guys ever are interested in buying uh, any of the equipment or um, any of the, the stuff that I use for my streaming setup. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and hop right into it I guess. Uh, I got my little piece of paper here with all the stuff I'm going to discuss. <laughs> I need to kind of guide us because there's a, there's a ton of different stuff to cover. So I'm going to do my best to kind of cover everything I can. Um, we will start with this right monitor. I know I discussed it in my old uh, stream setup video, um, but the monitor, the main monitor that I use to play Fortnite off is this one here, and this is the Alienware AW2518H 25-inch um, LED monitor. It is a 240Hz monitor, and it is uh, 1080p, um, and it is also has G-Sync technology in it. Um, I don't honestly know what the G-Sync does, to be honest, but I know it's it's a nice feature to have, and I do use it. Um, but yeah, this is an Alienware 25-inch monitor. Um, pretty pricey. Um, you guys definitely don't need 240 hertz if you want your game to feel smooth. Um, 144 hertz does just fine. Um, I just kind of invested a lot in this monitor just because I know I wanted a good one that's going to last me a long time. That is... Um, the, the most smooth as possible. So this is uh, my main monitor. And as you see here, this is kind of my uh, my secondary monitor here, what I use to put my like Streamlabs and all my stream stuff together I use on this monitor. Um, but the primary purpose of this monitor is, let me flip it over here, um, it's for reading chat. So when I'm streaming, I have my gameplay over here on my Alienware monitor, and then I have my chat over here. This isn't my chat, this is somebody else's. Um, but I have that here with my webcams on top. Um, but this monitor, the secondary one that I use to read chat, is the Asus VG248QZ. Um, that is the model number. It's a 144Hz monitor, um, and it is also in 1080p quality. Um, so yeah, these are my two monitors. These haven't changed since my last setup video, but I thought I'd go over them once again. Alright, so sorry about that weird transition, guys. So those are my two monitors, um, and these are my two webcams that I use here. Both are Logitech uh, webcams. The first one with the open kind of privacy fold here. Uh, this is my face cam, and the one that is facing downwards and kind of capturing what you see in this frame is my keyboard cam. So the one on the right is for keyboard, and the one on the left is for face cam. Um, so the face cam is um, actually the Logitech C920 Pro. Um, it is a 1080p by uh, 60 FPS webcam. Uh, very high quality, very good um, webcam. Nothing but good things to say about Logitech webcams. Um, and then the keyboard cam, sorry, let me get under it a little bit. You can see it there a little bit. Um, but this is actually the Logitech C922 um, webcam. Um, and it is just like the, the C920, it is a 1080p by 60 FPS uh, webcam. Both are very good. Um, both a little pricey, not gonna lie, but uh, you get what you pay for, I suppose. And uh, I'm very, very pleased with um, both of these um, webcams. Um, I would recommend both of them. Um, another new element to my streaming setup that I didn't have in my previous video is this Elgato. Let me see if I can make it a little more focused here. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see, guys. Um, so this is a Elgato Stream Deck. It is a 15 button Stream Deck. Um, this is very useful for when I am streaming. Um, there are useful buttons that I can put on here such as, it's hard to see, sorry guys, let me let it focus a little bit. So I have kind of my scenes at the top that I flip between during streams. So one of them is the starting screen, the one that it's highlighted in white-ish right now. Uh, that is my in-game screen, what you see kind of right here during stream. Um, and then I have one for item shop where it kind of moves my face cam to the top so we can see the item shop But then I have my face cam uh, There is an intermission button screen share Jesus hard to focus. Um, we got Streamlabs, uh, my YouTube channel YouTube in general discord Fortnite, go live uh, My clipping is on here. Um, I got everything you need and more so it's all it's all accessible by a touch of button So say I was in in game which I am right now that scene um, I can flip it to my starting screen by the touch of a button right there. 
and you'll see that it flips to this screen, which I'm sure you guys are aware of. This is always up when I start my stream. Um, but then yeah, you can flip to another scene as easy as this. Sorry for my finger being in the camera there. And then this is the item shop one intermission and it's just it's a super easy way to transition between different scenes all right so now we will kind of move on to some of my um, my external devices um, for when I'm playing Fortnite um, primarily my keyboard and mouse um, we'll move into a couple other things here in a second um, but this right here is my keyboard I'm sure you guys are all kind of familiar with seeing this on stream um, so this keyboard right here, um, I love it. It is the um, Obens N Pro 2 60% mechanical keyboard. Um, so this keyboard is um, very, very nice. It's similar to the Ducky 1-2 Mini that you guys might be familiar with. A lot of streamers and um, Fortnite players in general use that uh, keyboard. This one's a very similar one, similar price range, similar, similar style. Um, LED lighting, 60% keyboard. Like I said, I believe mine has brown keycaps. I'm not 100% certain because I haven't torn it apart to kind of look at what's underneath it and stuff quite yet. Um, but yeah, this is the Obens and Pro 2 mechanical keyboard, 60% keyboard, so you don't see the arrow keys like you would on a normal uh, keyboard. Um, but yeah, love this keyboard. Very similar to the Ducky 1 2 Mini, similar price range, similar performance, stuff like that. And I have nothing but good things to say about that. Um, similarly, uh, I got yet another Logitech uh, product here. This is my mouse. This is the Logitech G Pro Wireless here. Um, very good, lightweight um, gaming mouse here. Wireless, you could play it wirelessly or you could plug it in at the top up here. There's kind of a jack that you would plug a cord in. It's kind of hard to see. Um, but yeah, that is my gaming mouse. Um, it has two side buttons here as well that adds even more binds when I'm playing Fortnite. I use both of those buttons on the side here for build binds. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, just a great, great, great product. Have nothing but good things to say about Logitech. Uh, both their webcams and mice are very high quality. Hashtag ad, hashtag sponsor me. Just kidding, but seriously. Um, but yeah, we'll move on to the gaming mat, the, the, the mouse mat here underneath. You guys can kind of see the cool design. It is a Galaxy design. Very, very cool. Very large um, mouse pad here. So um, that is new for my old stream setup video. Um, but this gaming mat is a uh, Enhance extended extra large gaming mouse pad with obviously the Galaxy design. Um, bought this on Amazon, not expensive at all. Very large, very nice mouse pad. Uh, 32 inches by 13 and 3 quarters inches, so plenty of space. Um, so yeah. It's very nice to be able to have my keyboard over here to the left and then when I'm out cranking and creative or just playing in general and move my mouse a ton because I'm kind of a lower sense uh, Fortnite player on mouse and keyboard, it's nice to have all this space to the right here to move my mouse. Um, so there is that aspect as well. Alright guys, now we will move on to another couple uh, external devices. So this microphone here is actually uh, new from my last streaming setup video. So this mic you see here is the Blue Yeti uh, studio microphone, very high quality mic, um, pretty pricey but a very good um, audio quality and just overall well built microphone. Um, so yeah, you see the microphone here, the Blue, the blue Yeti mic. Um, and then with this I also have a foam windscreen right here, this little like, I don't even know how you describe it, like styrofoam-ish, I don't even know. Um, it's just like a screen that goes over the actual mic, if I were to pull this down you can see there's like a hard... Um, microphone like what you're used to seeing like when you're at like a speech or if you're giving a speech in front of a crowd it's like a normal mic it looks just like that underneath this kind of like foam like windscreen type thing so that is with it, it just helps drown out background noises I also have a um, this is called a shock mount above um, so the mic actually screws into this shock mount up here and what the shock mount um, does from my understanding is like if there's vibrations or like weird stuff going on in the background this kind of helps drown that out uh, it's kind of like suspending the microphone, so then it just, this stuff on the outer edge here, I think kind of absorbs those vibrations from background noises. Um, so that is one accessory to my microphone. Um, love this mic so far. Um, but then I also have this, uh, this arm here, or this stand that goes right onto my desk and kind of just um, hinges on there, clamps onto it. It is a, uh, yeah, just a microphone stand. You can buy all this stuff off of Amazon. Pretty easy, pretty cheap. Um, the microphone is not, but the accessories are. Um, I would recommend it. It is much better than my old mic that I used to have. I mean, I still do have it. I use it as a headset only now though, so I don't use the microphone on it. Um, but yeah, the Blue Yeti microphone I would highly recommend. 
Um, and then we have my old old headset here. This is the uh, Arctis uh, Arctis 7, Steel Series Arctis 7 headset. Very good. I still use it as my headset. Uh, I just don't use the mic that is on it anymore. But yeah, this is the Steel Series um, Steel Series Arctis 7 headset. Would recommend. Very cool design. Very good audio quality. Stuff like that. So yeah, definitely would recommend the Steel Series Arctis 7 headset. All right, guys, and the next thing I want to talk about is my ring light. This is also new since my last streaming setup video, so this is just kind of uh, the little white circle back here. Um, provides some extra light when it's, like, dark in my room, when I'm streaming late at night or something like that, when there's not a ton of natural light or my lamp doesn't light it up quite enough to my, uh, to my side in my room here. So I could just give it a quick little flip on like this, and it provides some nice uh, ambient light in the background that helps illuminate me and my surroundings better so you guys can see it better on stream, just kind of improving the overall quality of the stream. Um, and with this uh, ring light, there are actually three different color modes I can flip between them. Um, the one I typically use is this one, but you can swap between other ones such as this. It's just kind of like different colors, different brightnesses, stuff like that. This is more like an orange light or brown light. This is more of a white one, very bright. Another white one. So yeah, this is different uh, color settings and stuff like that make it much nicer and stuff like that to illuminate yourself on stream um, so your viewers can see you better so it's not super dark and you can't even distinguish yourself, you know? Um, but yeah, it's a cheap $17, I think is what it was, on uh, Amazon, clips right onto my desk here, which is very nice and convenient. So we are um, towards the end of the, the streaming setup tour. Just want to show you a couple more things that were in my previous video. Uh, streaming setup video. Uh, might as well go over them again so we have all in one place so you guys don't have to flip between the streaming setup videos. Um, but yeah, as you see here, I have a very nice gaming chair. Um, the S Racer, I don't even I don't even know the brand or anything like that. I think it's S Racer unless it's a, that's the model number. Um, but a very nice gaming chair that I bought on Amazon, came in the mail, had to assemble it myself. Very nice, very cushiony, um, very good for the price. I know it was under $100 and it's a very high quality gaming chair for the price, would recommend it. Once again, I will be posting links to everything shown in this video in the description if you guys wanna check it out. Um, but yeah, this is my gaming um, chair. And then we have this gaming desk as well, which I will also link in the description. Um, very large kind of size, yet it's kind of compact and you can fit it in smaller spaces. Like my room's not that big and this desk fits pretty nicely. It's a little large, but um, it gets the job done for sure. Plenty of space for a mouse pad, two monitors, um, everything you see here, so it's, it's got plenty of size for, uh, for what I need it to do. Um, but yeah, it's not the most expensive desk. You do have to assemble it yourself as well if you were to buy it off Amazon like I did. Um, but yeah, I will provide the links to both the gaming chair and the gaming desk in the description as well as any other, uh, any other parts that I mentioned in this video. And then down here, if we go underneath here, so yeah, we see, oh, it's kind of hard to see with the glare. But yeah, this is the inside of my PC tower, so I have the, uh, the GeForce RTX 2070 um, as my graphics card. Um, and then to my knowledge, I believe I have a Ryzen 5 3600 CPU. I don't need to go into all the specs and stuff. I can, I can provide that in the description as well. But yeah, this is kind of my, uh, my PC tower. You can see some fans running in there, um, both inflow and outflow of air. Um, bunch of cool lights. I can change the lighting on this. I don't have the remote next to me. I would grab it, but you guys, <laughs> you guys saw my other one. I can change colors and stuff like that. I don't really mess with it a ton, but yeah, this is kind of just my PC tower and casing and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, so there is that. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to do it for me, guys. I appreciate everybody uh, checking out the video. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments in the comments of this video. Um, let me know what you guys would also like to see in the future. I'm going to be doing a uh, Fortnite settings video here in the upcoming future. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. But yeah, if there's anything else you guys would like to see, let me know for sure. I'm open to any ideas. So appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next live stream. Thanks, guys.